journey to Denmark, where we celebrate a white Christmas in a fairy tale land. It's late December, the snow has carpeted the ground and turned the fir trees to glistening statues. For Christians around the world, a white Christmas is a truly romantic occasion, and there's no better place to enjoy the celebration than in the Scandinavian nation of Denmark. The holiday season is eagerly anticipated by Danes, who pass their Christmas traditions on from generation to generation. In the streets of the capital, Copenhagen, King's New Square is awash with decorations and window displays. We were on our way to join one of the city's many Christmas parades. All along this mile-long thoroughfare, families have gathered to sing and march to some familiar old tunes. Christmas parade in, in, since I became mayor, mayor of Copenhagen. Uh, this big parade once once a year, and, and uh, this is this year it's my my third. We started yesterday with the two parades in different parts of Copenhagen, and this is the central part in in the the, the, the arranged by by the shops in the in the in the city centre. No, it's not hard to get them up in the morning because they're very uh, they look forward to it every year. And Our next stop was Central Station. Old Nick, otherwise known as Santa Claus, was due to arrive by steam train, rather than his usual sleigh, and I wasn't about to miss that event. You don't have to be a child to enjoy this party. My shopping included a search for some old Christmas favorites like holly and mistletoe. It's a little cold here in Copenhagen. They're saying it's seven degrees, and it's even a little wet, but that doesn't stop anyone from doing their Christmas shopping. I've got my mistletoe, and I've got my half along bike here for 20 kroner, which I get back once I return it. It's a rent-a-bike, get them all over the city. Good way to get around. I gotta finish my shopping. Come on. In between spending sprees, the street performers will keep you entertained. Then it was time to head to the post office to send off my last minute Christmas cards. In fact, Denmark was the first country to inaugurate the idea of Christmas stamps. Exploring the traditional shops should include a visit to the Renaissance style Royal Copenhagen porcelain house. Here you'll find a stunning display of Denmark's most famous export. Christmas tables are designed by well-known Danish artists using the porcelain to create an elaborate fantasy. It's a tradition that began in 1963. 
In churches throughout the city, women display their handicrafts. You can shop for Christmas decorations, handmade gifts, and home-baked sweets. It's a feast for the eyes. Well, this is the beginning of Christmas. It's the end of November now, but the last end of November, Christmas starts in Copenhagen. And this is typical, this is a sort of a charity bazaar, where women all, we all during the summer has been working on making things that they can sell here as charity. The night air was slowly seeping in. It was time to sample Glug, a hot spicy mulled wine perfect way to warm up on a cold day. Okay, we're here in this wonderful pub called Vins Vistu. It's the oldest pub right here in Copenhagen. It's been open since 1723. And they've got something really special here. It's called Glog. You know what's in Glog? Well, I drank half of it, so <laughs> not much left is in mine. But, uh... Well, it's made up of all kinds of wonderful things. It's got rum in it, port, cognac, and especially red wine mixed with some beautiful herbs and some raisins. Yes, and the almonds. goodies are on the bottom. It has raisins and almonds and we even saw some pine nuts. So it's served with a spoon and it's nice and warm. Good? Mmm, delicious. And it also has 18% alcohol. No wonder I like it. <laughs> At night, you'll spot shop windows filled with little folk known as Nisser, Scandinavian relatives of the naughty pixie or imp. We found a nice warm spot here in Tivoli Gardens. Yes, and we're standing here with Lena Brock, and she's our tour guide through the Scandinavian village right that we're standing in. That's right, and we're surrounded by beautiful Christmas trees and lots of Scandinavian people and this wonderfully warm fire. The important part. <laughs> Very important. Copenhagen's Tivoli Gardens, which opened in 1843, has pavilions, public houses, and amusements that light up the sky at dusk and continue through the night. The Christmas markets here are relatively new. You'll find traditional desserts to warm you up and numerous restaurants, shows and concerts. We tried ice skating on Tivoli Lake under a sea of Christmas lights. When we return, History and tradition in the city and the country.